Sweet Française, by Irene Namorowski is a powerful novel set during the early years of World War II in France. The book consists of two parts, Storm in June, and Dolce, which were intended to be part of a larger series but were tragically left unfinished due to the author's untimely death in Auschwitz in 1942. Despite being incomplete, Sweet Française, remains a poignant and compelling portrayal of life in France during wartime. In Storm in June, the novel opens with the chaos and confusion that ensues as the German army advances on Paris in June 1940. The narrative follows a diverse cast of characters from different social backgrounds as they flee the city in the face of the German invasion. Among them are a wealthy bourgeois family, a young couple separated by the war, and a group of Parisians seeking refuge in the countryside. As the characters navigate the uncertainty and danger of their situation, they are forced to confront their own fears, prejudices, and desires. Some find unexpected acts of kindness and solidarity amidst the chaos, while others succumb to selfishness and desperation. Through their experiences, Namorowski paints a vivid and nuanced portrait of the human condition in times of crisis. In Dolce, the focus shifts to a small village in the French countryside that has been occupied by German troops. The villagers must contend with the presence of the enemy in their midst, as well as the challenges of daily life under occupation. Among them are Lucille Angelia, a young woman whose husband is a prisoner of war, and Bruno von Falk, a German officer billeted in her home. As Lucille and Bruno form an unlikely bond despite the barriers of language, nationality, and wartime allegiances, they are forced to confront the moral complexities of their situation. Their relationship serves as a microcosm of the broader tensions and contradictions inherent in the occupation, where acts of compassion and humanity are juxtaposed with acts of violence and oppression. Throughout, Sweet Frances, Namorowski's prose is lyrical and evocative, capturing the beauty and brutality of wartime France with equal measure. Her keen insight into the complexities of human nature shines through in her portrayal of characters who are flawed and fallible yet capable of moments of great courage and compassion. Despite its unfinished state, Sweet Française stands as a testament to Namorowski's talent as a writer and her ability to capture the essence of a tumultuous period in history. The novel remains a powerful and poignant meditation on the human cost of war and the resilience of the human spirit in the face of adversity. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for other interesting book summaries to spice up your reading list.